bridge study, and um, several, actually two years ago, uh, David Thompson passed away, and his father, Don Thompson, had been a long time, over 20 year volunteer, with, well, since the Habitat Restore opened. And so after David passed, he came to us and said, I heard you're part of this um, urban revitalization program, and I would love to be able to sponsor a house in David's name um, as part of that program. And we said, well, that's where we're looking for property in that area. And um, we were able to get, get property in this area. The reason that he was interested in um, the urban revitalization part was that David, his son, was in computers up in Seattle, Washington, and was very active up there in the revitalization of Seattle, Washington, and so very big into urban revitalization, <coughs> into families. He didn't have any children of his own, but he was a strong supporter of Habitat of Bullock County, and so it was only fitting that he was able to help sponsor through his father this, um, this house that was for a father and his son. Um, and then, in the meantime, before we actually got the house started, uh, Mr. Don's wife, Sally, passed away. And so he came to us again and said, can, can it be a memorial for her as well? Um, but Sally was a wonderful supporter of Habitat. I understand that there are Habitat children that have mittens she knitted, crocheted, and, and all kinds of different um, little crafts that she, she just enjoyed making and, and donating. Um, she was, in her later years, she wasn't able to volunteer with Habitat as much, but her heart was still very much with Habitat. And so, um, Mr. Don was planning to be here today. He got news, I guess, Wednesday that he wasn't able to travel. He lives in Tucson now. So, um, he wasn't able to make the flight, but he asked us to be sure and, and remember Sally and David.